hello everyone okay let us discuss now topic is material status okay so today topic is the material status control okay so let's say as any here we are going to discuss the material status controller for the sub inventory okay so in sub inventory level okay that let's say uh, we are creating one sub material status that one we are assigning to that sub inventory so let's say uh, for example either its sub inventory will allow for particular transactions or not to we are defining in material status control then that material status control will assign to that sub inventory and then we will try to perform that trans the same transaction so let us see in application then you will come to know what exactly that mean okay so go to setup and maintenance setup and maintenance okay and just i'm click the search manage material manage material status click the manage material status so I'm click I'm creating the new material status just click the and CS material status okay just I'm selecting okay if you availability you can allow that reservations if you select this one this material status okay and it we can we can use this material status see usually material status this many levels we can use either it's a sub inventory level, sub for sub inventories we can use the material status and locators we can use a lot and serials and I'm giving that we we can give that all level we can use this one and active is the active and this material status if you allow I mean if you select this material status it will allow you to do this all these transactions see a countless transaction cycle count we can it will allow and sales order issue and manufacturing related transactions and movement request projects related transactions and sale there is a transfer order and uh, this many okay so here what i will do there is a sub inventory transfer okay i am making this one disallowed this sub inventory transfer okay then click that okay okay save and close it's a done now so now what we will do assign this material status to sub inventory so what I will do assign material status to the sub inventory so later for that I'm going to create that one sub inventory manage okay Or here just I'm the click I'm giving CS material let's say So here they see here the material status I'm selecting our material status is that no CS material status then click the save okay okay click 
click the done now I'm trying to perform that sub inventory transfer Go home pay go inventory then here we will do create sub inventory transfer select sub inventory transfer Okay, and now select the item existing item. I'm selecting that here. So, yes, oh, six five double zero. And if we see our sub inventory, which we created just now, CS min CS sub inventory, right? So, see, see here we are not getting that sub inventory CS underscore material sub, you know, material uh, transaction, right? If we see, uh, If we verify here, if you want, see, this is the one, right? Material, our material status is assigned to this. See, we are not getting here because it's not allowed to do sub inventory transfer. So we, we made that uh, we create the sub, uh, you know, material status to do not allow them sub inventory transfer like that. So there are the list of the transaction, right? We can make them what are the transactions should allow and what are the transactions should not allow that material status we can assign that you know uh, i shown you right that is a um, you know at uh, further sub inventory or locators lot and this there are a few more areas we can associate that material status and we can do it thank you that's all for today